we cannot bet against this man's quality. He's going to face the best of the best. How far can he go? Well, time is going to also tell. Well, time is going to tell. It's been the line from Mari today repeatedly. But let's get to talk about the world of cricket and the action in the world of cricket. And nothing beats the conversation in cricket more than the yellow greens moving in the ranking and doing better comparatively uh, in the world of cricket. According to reports coming in, the yellow greens had reason and the ICC T20 ranking. They've risen four spots from world number 42 to world number 38 and it makes for good winning. And the president of Nigeria's Cricket Federation, Oye Akata, said they're targeting 2026 to be in the top three in Africa. Now, currently, Nigeria plays a top seven in Africa, moving from number eight in Africa to number seven. It makes for good reading, Mari, when Absolutely. you talk about the action that's happened. The last competition we saw them, the trophy tour, we saw happen in Lagos. They performed quite well. But before Mari gets to talk about this, uh, let's get to have a guest join the show. I can't even call for it today. I can't miss the name. I can't even call for it on the show today. Uh, talking about the most important aspect of cricket. He's been a journalist that gets to do the most about cricket. Yeah. But while we're waiting yeah, for him waiting to join him, the conversation, Mary, have a peep in this one. Yeah, good stuff, basically. You know, um, I have always been a fan of let's focus on other sports. Okay. Let's see how we can develop other sports. Look at South Africa. In the world stage in football, they're not the best, mm. but they just won the Rugby World Cup. Mm. Their top names, they are the highest ranked African country in cricket, as a matter of fact. See what they're doing you know, in other sports. They've uh, been, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah they've uh, been. It's a conversation, okay. too. My point is, let's copy. Let's oh. see what, they, what we can do in other sports. Obviously, we've got talent in football, but let's see other sports. And it's beautiful to see that we've been able to, you know, get some, you know, some cushion in terms of the, the rankings at the ICC T20. Makes sense. And you look at the performance of the Yellow Greens over time. The one or ten games at the Invitational Tournament in Lagos yeah. just a couple of months ago. Show class and quality. One, one trophy, as a matter of fact. And two, it shows improvement to the side and, and progress. So from 38, from 42nd to 38, makes sense for me, but it should not stop here. Yeah. Let's keep putting in the work. Well, good dream, they say, looking forward. We are part of said they have to get to number three in Africa. And what it means is you have to be behind South Africa and Zimbabwe. They seem to be the best teams in Africa when it has to do with cricket. But also, let's have a conversation about this now. When you look at the Yellow Greens' performance, up next for them, I think November oh. 20th to December 1st, uh, would be a qualifiers towards the 2026 tournament, World Tournament. And now logging hunts against uh, the best in Africa would be that conversation looking forward. Mm. But what gets to happen now, because we've also seen the performance of the Federation, we are part and the last doing a marvelous job in there. I think I'm quite impressed, particularly with the progression of cricket. Just like Mary said, it is quite sad that in this part of the country, we do not really pay attention to other sports, basically aside football. And that's quite sad because uh, I think some months back, prior to when we had the international cricket community come to you, we're talking about the fast rising sports basically in Nigeria and it had to be cricket. So that shows you the progression of cricket basically here. And of course, we're also looking forward to see how far they can actually do in the World Cup qualifiers between now and of course the middle of December. It will be quite fascinating if we see the women, uh, you know, cricket national team and the men's cricket national team qualify. But from this particular point, it looks like it is a, a positive progression for them. Well, positive progression for them. And now uh, let's join um, the big man. Uh, Kufre joins the conversation, Akarima Kufre joins the conversation, a sport journalist, especially in the world of cricket. He's spoken a lot and done uh, marvelous things regarding the promotion of cricket. Uh, Akarima Kufre, good morning. Welcome to Sport Central. Yeah, good morning, Mr. Uh, Blyden, um, Arizona and the crew. Good to yeah. have you here. Thank you for joining. Always a pleasure having you on the show. Let's get to the talking point about the Cricket Federation in Nigeria. We at Pata have said uh, that they're looking forward to Nigeria being in the top three in Africa by 2026. We've seen the ranking, we've seen the progression after the last trophy tour where they won the tournament in Lagos. And up next for them, it's November 20th to December 1st. It would be the qualification series moving forward against the best of Africa. Let me start this way. What has been the secret? What has really worked in the world of cricket in the country? Because the progression has been massive. Thank you, Blyden. The progression, as you said, has been massive. And uh, Mr. Iyapata, when he assumed the leadership of cricket in Nigeria, Nigeria was rated 48 in um, 
and cricket T20 ranking. But as we are talking, we are rated 38. Above some countries that used to be uh, challenges in Africa and uh, outside uh, within the associate countries. So uh, it has been a success that has been uh, marked by uh, high points of a lot of our facilities introduction. Don't forget when he took over, Nigeria was struggling to have one top wicket. But now we have five in the country, and uh, Kwaibong would be the next to make it six. So we, these facilities has also helped a lot of lo young stars discover their talent, unlike before, where they hardly had the facilities to train. Don't forget. All right, okay. let's talk about, let's talk about the And how effective uh, skill development is not in the All right. Akanimo, thank you. Let's talk about the potential growth that's happening, especially at the biggest stage now. We're talking about qualification, possible qualification towards the 2024 Olympics. The tournament gets to start in November, November 20th, and span through December 1st. And they'll be logging on the best against the best in Africa. We're talking about other teams, the likes of Kenya and Namibia, and it'll be hosted in Namibia. Can we say that the Yellow Greens, based on recent performance, have a chance at all of that qualification? Okay, if I take us through a, a, a recent history of cricket, what our year after the, the NCA board tried to make a cricket pathway, uh, a similar uh, strategy that has worked in several Asian countries where they develop people right from age five to the senior team. So, uh, Gurushina for, for the Sri Lankan and um, uh, Australian uh, uh, national was here and he left. Now we have Steve Tikolo uh, who has taken over the boys and the. All right, looking at the talking point in the world of cricket and the action, Mari just one final bet before we see if we can get to Kanimo Kofre to join the show and see a conclusion to this part of the, of the show where we get to talk about football stories next. We're looking at the direction, and let's narrow it down. He's also talked about development of cricket Absolutely. moving forward to Aquaibum. And we're seeing the stretch happening from different geopolitical good zones in the country. It seems to be that cricket is the mainstay. But here's a question, Mari. We're getting to a point where we put in tandem a success of a federation that's working with a success of the sport. Of the game, yeah. We've seen in basketball, crisis all over. Absolutely. Other aspects of it, rugby is doing a bit fine. At start, it was also a part of those crises. Absolutely. And football, here and there, crisis here and there. And many would say probably this could be the direction, but talk to us about development of cricket in the country and Aquaibum in particular. Yeah, first of all, I think in that you said that the success of the federation is directly proportional to the success of the sport. Because yes. you look at the Cricket Federation, there's stability there. Absolutely. You know, Yak Bata has been able to, you know, hold everything together. And of course, uh, there's progress there, oh. basically. So that should be a, the example to other sports federations in the country. Once there's peace, you know, in the organizers and the administrators, there'll be peace in the sport, basically. So kudos to, you know, the NCF particularly. I want to see more. You know, we shouldn't end here. Yes, we should find ourselves. We've done a remarkable job so far, moving from 47 to 38, but let's go further. I mean, we, we contest, contested against the likes of South Africa, who are Africa's best cricket country, Namibia, Zimbabwe, Tanzania, and the rest of them. So we have a long way to go. Right. I like the fact that um, Akbate has said top three. Let's see how far it could go. All right, Akarimo. Thanks for joining the show again. Let's talk about possibilities of becoming the top three in Africa. And pers personally, I'm thinking... Uh, what Uye Apata has said that Nigeria by 2026 would be in the top three in Africa. He's looking at South Africa and Zimbabwe, a difficult country to cross. But he's looking at the rest of them. Maybe if we get, keep improving at this pace, we can get the better of them. I'm asking you, is it possible? Final shot from you. Very possible to get to Africa's top three. But you need, uh, but you need to understand ticket uh, 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 structure by ICC. We have what you call... Uh, 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 test countries, and we have what you call associate countries. Nigeria is among the associate members, that would, and then uh, countries like South Africa uh, is among those uh, full members. So, among the associate members, that is where we are going in for now. And after that, we get over to the to compete with the likes of uh, uh, South Africa. All right. So, well, I can more quickly ask you about um, the ladies. Are also in the conversation, the women's cricket team, the female yellow greens are ranked 30th in the world. And of course, um, 
uh, yes, 13 in world particular, and I think 17 in Africa, basically. So while we're talking about the men, we have to talk about the ladies as well. It's been a steady rise in terms of quality, in terms of consistency for you. What do you make of the performance of the female yellow greens in light with the competition they have to face, especially in Africa, South Africa, Namibia, and the rest of them? Uh, the basic thing we hear about have done is motivation and also exposure. So he has uh, brought these girls into facilities that are worked at. And don't forget, they used to have this challenge when they go into international tournaments because of the top, what we call the middle. But all that we've had them here, we've had a, the increase of net in the country. Uh, we witnessed the one that was donated to our five uh, last two months. Uh, so they, they are supported effectively by this administration to make sure that what the experience they need in South Africa or in Namibia or in Rwanda, they all have it here. And that's why the girls are doing perfectly well. And uh, kudos to our Kwaibom girls who have made, it, made us so proud. The likes of Salome, the likes of uh, 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 Sandy, Esther Sandy, let's name them, of course, the captain. They have been training very hard to make sure that their position in the national team is uh, maintain and it's not an easy thing to overturn the two likes of uh, girls from Lagos and a dose to sustain that position. So there is all commitment at the national level. But we are trying to do that in the state level where uh, for some reasons we have been having some little challenges but we will soon overcome that. All right, Akane Marko, Fred, thank you for being a part of the show. We draw the curtain on this part of sporting activities and conversation, and we'll go on a quick break when we return, and we get to talk about football stories all around the world. Thank you very much for joining the show.